Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, it's going to be all about independent comics. Little small publishers, maybe one big publisher, maybe like IDW, which IDW, I still consider them a small publisher. So we're going to start off with a new publisher that I recently discovered. Um, they're called, the company is called Blood Moon Comics. Um, they have some pretty interesting books out. Um, first off, we're going to show one some of the newest that came out, which is um, Usher of the Dead, issue number one, which I have not read this book yet. Um, we have White River Monster, issue number one, cover A. White River Monster, issue number one, cover B, which I have read the, that issue there. Of White River Monster issue number one. It was really good and I really enjoyed it. Um, White River Monster issue number two, cover A. And White River Monster issue number two, cover B. I do gotta get around breeding these right here. I also have Ice Canyon Monster issue number one. Um, the Devil Tree issue number one. The Devil Tree issue number two. The Devil Tree issue number three. And the Devil Tree issue number four. Like I said, this is all from a new company called Blood Moon Comics. Check them out. They're, a lot of their books are selling out. Especially places like Midtown, and I know Diamond is kind of hard to get a re, uh, reorder on them. Well, that's what my comic book shop told me. And they called in to kind of get, they're a lot sold out, a lot of them. But you can go to Blood Moon Comics website, which I will put a link in the description box for them. And you can buy directly from them. But I, I do recommend, uh, I do recommend uh, White River Monster. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it's a pretty cool read. Um, it's based kind of like on a, um, Folk, like not really a folklore of urban legend or sightings that takes place in Arkansas. So check that out. Next up is Curse Pirate Girl, The Devil's Cave. This is put up by Arkea, which is pretty much uh, part of Boom now. Um, I like the original Curse Pirate Girl stuff, and this one was really. I haven't read this one yet, but I love. Like I said, I love the original stuff. Next up is some IDW. All right, we're gonna go with Saturday morning, Saturday morning adventures. Saturday morning adventures issue number one. GI Joe the Real American Hero issue number one. And also Saturday morning adventures GI Joe Real American Hero issue number two. Um, I think uh, everybody knows by now that IDW has lost the the rights to publish GI Joe and Transformer books. I think the in the it ends in 2022 in December, and I don't know who's going to get it in 2023. But I heard maybe Image. Um, Image did publish the original the GI Joe the. First G.I. Joe comics to come out after Marvel back in 2001. And uh, they did they did publish those, publish that line. And um, we'll see. I, I, just, I heard it was I heard it was going to be Image. You know, that's what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not. It's the, it's the, to me, it's going to be the um, logic of the right choice to go to. I don't see Hasbro going back to Marvel. So... Uh, next up is Godzilla vs. the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue number one, cover A. And then Mighty Morphin Power Rangers vs. Godzilla, issue number one, cover B. Um, this is a really, really wild read. Um, I the reason I got it. I do like Power Rangers, but I like Godzilla even more. So this crossover here is going to be fun. Um, Yusagi Yojimbo, issue number 25. Gotta love the Samurai Rabbit. 
the Yusaki Yojimbo Lone Goat and Kid, issue number one. And Yusaki Yojimbo Lone Goat and Kid, issue number two. Next up, we have Yuki versus Panda, number six, from Source Point. This is one of, pretty much probably one of my favorite little series right now. We have issue number seven of Yuki vs. Panda. And issue number eight of Yuki vs. Panda. I haven't read these three issues, but I'm kind of saving them because it, I want to probably want to reread all, all of them straight through again. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this right here is something I picked up that I heard about and it's been kind of selling out and everything. But this is published by Behemoth Comics. It's called Heavy Metal Drummer. It's issue number one. This is cover A. This is cover B of issue number one. This is cover C of issue number one. That's pretty wild. And this is cover D of issue number one. And cover E of issue number one. You can tell it's got just not your normal comic book format. It's kind of cut off. You know, kind of like a shorter, like, like deal. It's pretty cool. I haven't read none of these yet, but I've been hearing quite a bit on it. Next up is something I picked up because I like the artwork in it and everything. It's called Swamp Dogs House of Crows, published by Black Caravan. Uh, this is issue number one, and they're issue number two. Next up, we have something, um, these next um, three books, um, I just picked up off the shelf, well, one of them had ordered, but the other two, we just random buys, this is, um, put out by the Asylum Press, it's called Vampires, issue number one, it's like vintage pre-code horror, it's pretty cool, I like a lot of that um, pre-code um, horror type stuff. Next up is, oh shit, I cannot remember the name, I can't remember the name of this book, but it's put out by Gary Panther, oh man, it's called The Unfilling Lotus, um, shit, I don't know, it's just what the cover looks like. It's pretty wild. It kind of reminds me of something Robert Crumb would do. That's the reason why I picked it up. This is published by, um, a hell, I don't even know who it's published by. Uh, next up is a book called Emo Girl, which is published by, um, Black Comics. I ended up getting two copies of that for some odd reason. I haven't read it yet, but the artwork is pretty good in there. Next up is um, Tarot, Wicked the Black Rose, um, issue number 132. Next up is um, Blue Juice Comics, which is Billy the Kid, issue number 3, issue number 4, and issue number 5. Another series I haven't got a chance to read yet. Um, this right here is from Udon, which I didn't. I must have missed this coming out because I usually try to get all the Dark Stalkers, Time Street Fighter stuff coming out. But this is Dark Stalkers Borgen. This is cover A, and this is cover B. This one just recently came out like a week ago. Um, I don't. I didn't look and see if it's a one shot or anything, but I really like the Dark Stalker stuff. Next up is quite a few things from Ablaze Comics. We have Animal Castle, issue number two, cover B. Animal Castle, issue number three, cover B. Animal Castle, issue number four, cover B. 
Animal Castle issue number four, cover A. And issue number four just came out last week. This is called Lore and Other Stories by, I want to say, Gillum March. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. This is issue number three, cover A. And issue number three, cover B. Now, these are two books. This is a book called Life Zero, which I like the variant covers to them because it's like, I think, the cover D's. And it's kind of reminds you of like old comic book covers. Which is issue number one. And that's issue number two. That looks pretty cool. I love about those right there. Next up, we are heading into. Dark Horse. Um, a new book by Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, Jonathan Clapion, Dave McC McCaig, and Tom Napol Napolitano. It's called We Have Demons. It's issue number one. This is issue number one, the same book, cover B. Pretty cool. And issue number one, the same book, cover D. All right, next up we have Destiny New York from Black Mass. This is issue number nine. Um, also from Black Mass, we have Destiny New York Valentine's Day Special, issue number one. And we have from Black Mask, um, God Killer Spiderland, issue number two. Which these books have been so slow to come out. All right. Last but not least, we're going to go with um, first Love and Rockets, issue number 11. This took so long to come out from Fanagraphics. Also, we have from Dynamite. Well, actually, we're just going to uh, we're going to go with Titan next. Titan, we're going to go with um, Cowboy Bebop issue number one photo cover, and Cowboy Bebop issue number two cover B. Um, there's supposed to be some more of these coming out, which I don't know if they're ever going to come out or not. All right, now we're going to go to the Dynamite stuff. We have Evil Ernie issue number. three. Three cover J's the Virgin cover here. It's pretty cool. Next up we have issue number three cover B. Another Evil Ernie cool Evil Ernie cover. We have issue number four cover A. It's pretty damn cool there. I like that. And right here, these are the ones I like the most here. This is Evil Ernie issue number four cover G. The Wizard Homage cover. Homage, 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 I can't, I know I'm saying it wrong, well, I'm saying it wrong, or I'm saying it right, but that's pretty cool there. Also, Nick's issue number five, cover J, which is another wizard homage cover, which um they were, um, Dynamite was doing, doing these type of covers for late last month. Also, now this is the last one, this is the uh, cover J. This it, is no, no, issue number seven of Red Sonia, and it's cover zero. And this is the Virgin cover, Wizard Homage cover, Virgin cover, which they normally sell for about six dollars or something on Midtown. But some odd reason, Midtown have this thing marked down to like three dollars or something. So I had to grab it. All right, now that's everything of all the indie titles that I have to have that I bought. Um, like I said, there's a lot of good things I need to catch up on and read and everything. I'm really behind on a lot of stuff. Um, if you like what you see, please hit the like button. And if you're always subscribed, once again, thank you for being a subscriber. Um, if you stumble across this video and you like it, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to it, and I'll see you in the next video.